Hi, I'm Hazik and this is my story. It happened on a Thursday night and my mom just like randomly told me, have you heard any like random sounds coming from the kitchen? And I was like, what what kind of random sound? Like is it like what like a fridge? And she was like, no, I think it's like a ghost in our in our kitchen. And I'm like, how can it be? Like you can't like blame everything on a ghost, what? So I just dismissed it until two years later. So I was like doing my work in the living room and I heard this super loud bang coming from the kitchen. And bear in mind, I was plugging in my headphones. So it had to be like super loud. La. I moved it and like I distinctly remember in the kitchen there was this banging sound from the cabinet and it sounded like something was knocking from the inside. So I like WhatsApp my mom, hey mom, the, come outside, there's something banging in our cabinet. And so the whole family like heard the banging. La. We called our uncle who's more attuned to the supernatural to come over and like have a look la. and on that night itself like he said that he didn't feel anything but he'll ask his friend to come and like visit our house the next day and the very next day we had the incense set up some like salts to attract the ghost from the cabinet We sat there for like half an hour and there was like nothing then I was just like looking outside my window and I saw like some shadows like circling around our plants and I was just like oh man the ghost in the cabinet wasn't coming out anything but we attracted like two new ghosts so we're just like okay we didn't hear any like bangs for the next two months until one fateful day where three of us got attacked at the same time in different locations. So what happened was my grandma in Singapore was in her room and she heard like the same bangs again coming from that same cabinet but this time it was so loud. She was the only one at home at that time and she was like so scared. She had to call my sister who was watching a movie to keep her company. Yeah. And at that same night I was in Kukup for like this chalet with my friends and I saw like a pochong next to this gate. So this was like the very first time I saw a pochong, so it was like really scary. A pochong is basically like a um, Malay ghost wrapped in this white cloth. And okay, so what makes the pochong ghost scary is that because for most Muslims, that same cloth is the cloth that we're gonna be wrapped in when we die lah. So to see a dead version of a human being that's standing upright is kind of scary. But only I saw it because like, you know, my friends can't really like see ghosts. But I really felt like something, something felt wrong really lah. My mom was in Trungganu on holiday with my dad lah. And after she bathed, suddenly her light bulb in the toilet just exploded. And later that night, my father complained that something was sitting on his chest, suffocating him. My aunt called her friend who's uh, like a religious leader in Singapore. The moment the guy picked up the phone, he was just like, Hey, your sister's being disturbed, right? Like without even her like saying anything. Then, according to that convo, we believe that someone might have sent it to us. So, but like, we didn't pursue it lah, cause it's been three months without any accident. So we're just like leaving it. It doesn't like possess us or shit, so it's like, it's fine by me, I guess. So yeah, that's my story.